I'm going to share five secret hacks that you can use for trading view and up your trading game. We're not only going to learn these hacks, but we're also going to try to use log charts. We're going to explore how fundamental data can be used with price. We can know how you can organize your ideas and thoughts within trading view without having a separate diary and so much more. But before we do get started, hit that like and subscribe button right now because that's the only way we'll get encouraged. Otherwise, we won't enjoy making these videos. The first thing I'm going to explore with you is The reason why I'm choosing tradingview.com is because it's free and free is good. Just like this YouTube channel. Subscribe karo. It's free. First, go to tradingview.com. You'll get this and I will continue with this ID. And as soon as that happens, we are logged in. The first mistake you're probably making is you're using a normal chart. You should use a log chart. Let me show you an example. This is Nifty and I can see that the market's gone up a lot from 2004 to 2008. There's a reason I'm selecting this time frame. Please bear with me. I have to draw a simple trend line over here. So when I draw this trend line, this trend line starts here. Then you can see it ends, the market goes up. Then I have to draw a second trend line because the market has become vertical. Come here, when you hover on the right, you will see two tabs, two buttons over here, A and L. Simply click on log. And look at that, it's so much easier. Now I'll delete these two and I'll take my first trend line here and draw a single line. You see that? With a log chart, I don't have to draw multiple trend lines. Basically, you're able to draw better technical patterns when you're drawing for charts if you're using a log chart. In short, always use a log chart. Step two, we have the toolbar. Now I won't spend too much time on this because this is pretty straightforward. Over here, I can select a stock. So if I click on the nifty you see there and I type over here, Bajaj, I can select a stock. Notice on the right, I can also see whether it's on what exchange, NSE and I also have BSE. It also shows me whether it's futures or stock. So if I click on this, I have Bajaj Finance cut chart. I can also change the time frame. So I can go from daily to say 30 minute chart as well and load right here. So that's called time frame. I'll go back to the weekly chart because I don't like shorter time frames. And we can change this over here from a candle chart to any other kind of chart. So you have hollow candles, columns. We did a video on Haikanashi. You should definitely check that out. It tells you how to look at trends. And I just changed it to Haikanashi over here. So you can see that you can change the chart type. So I'll change this back to candles. In indicators, it's a, it does exactly what you expect to. So if you click on indicators, you get a pop-up and I can now select say RSI and I get relative strength index. An interesting thing that TradingView does is that people can actually add and create their own scripts and create their own indicators. So if I go down, I can see community scripts. Yeah, so people have added RSI candles by this username called Glass. But here's the problem with indicators. You'll use them, you'll find YouTube videos explaining to them, but it's an information barrage. If I click on indicator and go to YouTube, I get all these results. Won't you get confused? Here's the solution. What you need is one single mentor who tells you exactly what to do. You do it and he gives you feedback. Once you do this again and again in a classroom setting with other traders who also want to learn from you, you will actually be able to get some skill that you can use in trading and investing. And that's exactly what LearnUp has done. We run free prime sessions whose objective is to get you from zero to intermediate for free in a classroom setting online every weekend with a mentor. So if you want to actually learn this seriously, Apply in the link in the description or just continue watching the YouTube videos because it's completely fine to be passive and learn how this shit works. Let's move on. Now I'm sure you already knew this, but I'm sure you didn't know what I'm going to say and that's the replay function. This brings us to hack number two. So if I click on replay, what I need to do now is go back sometime in the past. So let's say I want to go back, say here. Now, the chart will load as if it's already back at that point of time and I can hit a buy or sell and simulate and sort of practice what the future holds. So let's say you're someone who's not seen charts for many, many years. I, with the bar replay feature, I can just hit this play button and now it will feel like the market is opening every day and closing. So you look on the right, 
it's playing every day out. So I can say, okay, I think higher swing low. I think the market's gonna go up and I keep tracking. And I can see here that the market actually went up. And then step three, we have creating a watch list. This is really useful because you don't wanna track 5,000 freaking stocks on the internet. What you have to do here is click on these three dots and you will see this add Bajaj Finance to watch list. And we can see that it's added. Now on the right side, you see this diary kind of thing. That's the watch list icon. If I click on that, I will get a watch list. And I've seen that I have added all these stocks to the watch list like Axis Bank, HDFC, ICICI and Bajaj Finance. Then is the most important, the toolbar. On your left, you'll have drawing things that you can use to draw things on the chart. So over here, I have crosshairs, which basically creates this crosshair. I can click on this trend line and draw trend lines like I did at the start of the video. And there are a bunch of other tools. But I'll tell you something that I thought was very interesting. Um, there is this thing over here called, where is it? It's called the long position. Now, mostly trading is mostly about risk and reward, right? So let's suppose in our previous example, we were thinking of buying here. Uh, and let's suppose my stop loss is say here. This long, when I clicked on this, I got a long position. So let's suppose I entered here. Our stop loss is here. It'll automatically tell me the most important thing in trading. That's the risk to reward ratio. I adjust my stop loss here and I adjust my target up here. And it tells me the risk to reward ratio is one is to two. Anyone watching this should know a risk to reward of at least two is what you should be looking at. So I know that this trade itself doesn't make sense. But if I actually increase the target a bit, then this becomes more viable. Really useful for people who are entering the market and want to know what their risk profile is. You get a risk to reward ratio right here. Pretty cool. Another thing I find really useful is when you look at a chart, you think, yaar, ye yaan se wahan chala gaya. And then I go yaha and I see 1769, I enter it my calculator. Then I say wahan and I go to 4700. I subtract it add it multiplied by 100 to get a percentage. This takes a little time. So there is a measure tool over here where I can just draw from, well, yaha, say to waha, and I can see that it's moved 134% from here to there. I don't have to use my calculator anymore. The measure tool tells me how far it went. I think it's useful, at least in percentage, also tells me a, also tells me a time frame. It also tells me how many bars it took to get there. See if you like it too. In step number five, we have the toolbar. I think this is really interesting. It's on your right. There's so many toolbars. I have to say one thing. It's not really needed. I don't think people use any of these things. But one thing I think is useful for a trader, and that is writing down what he thought of the trade, what he thinks is going to happen, and maybe a retro after you exit, what went right and what went wrong. We also call this the trading journal. So if you can do that over here digitally, that's useful. On your right, you'll see Bajaj Finance and you'll see over here, add note. Surprise, surprise. What does it do? Adds a note. What did you expect? You can say, hello, stop calling me Bajaj Finance. And I can add other things like PE ratio too high. And I hit add. If you like the video so far, hit the subscribe. We have one more hack left and I'll show you what that hack is. You can do this for every single stock, maintain notes, and you don't have to do this in a physical notebook anymore because it's digitally there. But I promise you, Bajaj Finance will not stop calling you. Stop calling us. Nahi chahiye loan. Rack! Rack Since you guys have watched so far and we love you for it, here is something special for you, a bonus hack. Go to indicators and type PE ratio and I can see price to earnings ratio, which is a fundamental metric can be added over here as well. So if I close this, close this, I can see what the PE ratio of Bajaj Finance is. It is 63, I can change the stock. So the point is very simple. I can actually track fundamental data 
on this tool as well. We can do a lot with TradingView. This was just scratching the surface. You can do back testing. There is PineScript. There are a whole lot of other tools inside it, but we weren't sure whether it was worth the effort. So if you guys give us 2000 likes on this video, I promise we'll make a part two, which goes even deeper and hopefully will make your journey to become a trader even better. So if you think this is useful, hit that subscribe, hit that like, say something in the comments and see you in part two if we get 2,000 likes. Also, there's a nice blooper section. Check it out. Am I going to slow? I'm going to fast. It's fine, right? It's from the heart. I just feel like this is a sponsored video. It feels like...